Hello viewers, today we are going to demonstrate how to create a parameter report. It's a simple demonstration. Uh, earlier we have created a report and we discussed a little bit in detail in uh, those videos about the report. Today we will create a report which is parameter, that is we will uh, assign a value in a parameter and the report will be populated according to the uh, parameter value. So, let us begin with our demonstration. In this application, we will create a page and then we will create report and we will make it parameterized. So, let us begin with our demonstration. Create page. Okay. Blank page. Next. page number 6 name para meterized report ok next next Keep it like this. Next. Okay, finish. Now this is the page we have. Now we will create a region. It will be static content. Next. will be report parameter report parameter okay uh, keep it as it is next 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 Okay, our report uh, parameter region is created. Now we will create a button and an item. Now let's create an item. Say so this is a select list. The idea is we will uh, uh, we'll populate the department name in the select list and the uh, employee the report will be populated as per the department name selected. Okay, our parameter will be the department name, and all the information on the uh, employee information will be populated, uh, which are of that department. Next, the department. department p6 department and the report parameter okay next now next now next We can use it, we can use a list of values query. For this demonstration, I'm going to use list of values query. Okay, select department name D, that is department, department ID return value from department see department name will be the display value and the return value will be department id next
So item is also created. Now what we will need? We will need a button. Now create a button. Next. Next. Mm, say this is submit. Next. Okay, this is the template. Next. Uh, the purpose of this button will be to submit the page. Okay. Next. Uh, this one is not conditional. That means this button will be shown always. Now, our report parameter is complete now let's see how it looks like see this is the uh, name of the department here and this is the submit button now our parameter is ready now we will select a department here and we'll push the button and then employee will be employees of this department will be populated here. Uh, now let's uh, create a region. It will be a report region. We'll do it classic report. Report. Report on employees. Employees. Okay. Next. Now we'll make it make it a skill query type. Now to demonstrate here, we'll uh, take select select employee ID first name first name last name, salary, and department ID, department ID. Now, page item to submit will be this one for hire. Department ID equal to P6 P6 Department. Okay. Next. From O next next now the report will be conditional whenever the bar submit button is created the report will be shown okay now submit create region now run it submit okay now we will have to create a branch Report branch. Next, it will be in the same page. Request will be 
submit next create a branch now let's run it let's see what happens now okay the employee report has been produced based on the department selected now let's select marketing now submit see now here uh here is the department id so i'm not sure if uh, marketing is the department id so we want to show the marketing uh, show the department name here so how can i do this now let's move to report attribute now go to department id column attributes here in display as based on lv okay now in the list of values you can create a named which is here named lv or you can define a query here okay we will define a query here select department name t department id r from department okay now apply apply changes again now run the report now this submit see here the name instead of the code we are showing the name here okay so now if i change the name to sales and submit it this is simple demonstration this is the end of the demonstration thank you for watching thank you everybody